Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You're watching Mainframe VSAM Tutorial. Today, I'm going to share you the important concept in VSAM that is Repro. So, what is the importance of Repro and where do we use this Repro in Mainframe that is under VSAM concept? So, uh, the importance of uh, repro is it is to user to copy a data from ps file to ksds file or ps to esds or a ps to rrds and ps to lds so not only uh, copying from ps to ksds it also copies the vice versa also is going to work uh, ksds to ps or ksds to rrds and uh, ESDs to PS, RRDs to PS and vice versa. You can try multiple trials uh, of this. So these are the these are the different ways of uh, copying a data from different source to different destinations. So what is how do we use this? Uh, repro is a keyword that is uh, used uh, in a JCL uh, to copy the data and EDS input data ID IDS IDS stands for input data stream and your source file and ODS that is output data stream that is your destination file and followed by your destination file name so these are the main advantages of a repro so now we will go uh, we'll connect to the mainframe system and see how it works okay so now I'm connected to the mainframe system and here is your JCL how it looks and here I have a job card and the description showing like JCL to create a VSAM repro uh, to copy a from PS to KSDS so we use the same ID camps utility that is provided by IBM and uh, we are going to pass some parameters to this program so what are the parameters we are going to use in that is uh, used in system dd star repro input data stream followed by your ps file that is a physical sequential file and for and your vzam file so let us see uh, first of all see our data set what the ps file has okay so in this uh, I'm trying to I have a data called this is the employee number or employee name and the designation he has okay so I'm entering I'm trying to enter totally seven records and uh, those are these are in sorted order and I'm trying to copy this data into this uh, KSDS file so you know that KSDS has a data component and index component that means all the entire data these entire data should store in data component along and also this key file that is a key data that is these should be stored in an index component okay now we will see we will try to submit this job and we will see it so and before to this just make sure that ideas ODS you have you place this in a brackets and if you want to continue to the next line give a hyphen over here so that uh, your job get uh, won't get abandoned and it works fine so now just submit it enter yes oh something problem okay what is the problem so it is good so we got some problem and we'll try to fix it okay okay so the data set are already in use ksds oh now i can understand so why it is showing is so th there it might i might have opened this data set and that's the reason it's yes it is open here okay and is it open anywhere okay let me check it let me check it no okay 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 I'll try to run it again see now it's ended with the max cc equal to zero okay I mean since the file was kept open so it was unable to copy the data okay now you can go to spool and verify your log of this particular job and you can see it's a sprint so 
The number of record process was 7. The function completed highest condition code was 0. So in this way, it has successfully copied the data from PS file to the KSDS file. Okay, now we have to see this data set, right? So how do we see this? So just copy, go to start and you have it another tool called Ditto. D D I T T T O. Ditto is a tool to read the data from a VZAM file. So I want to browse it. Okay, just press first one and Q option three VZAM data and try to give it in a quotes okay enter see now here it is now you can see the data has been successfully stored so here your record was given as uh, 80 okay so you have a various function defined over here that is f1 for help uh, f2 for zoom f3 exit left right forward backward and so on so if I want to go left I will press it as a F4 if I going to right F5 so it will go to rightward so maximum record length what is the record length we have given as 80 so that's the reason the record length will go up to 80 so F4 so in this way you can write it uh, forward backward so see we have entered uh, eight records right seven records right so I want to go forward okay so I have entered all the records it got in this order okay so and at the same time the data is in a sorted order so you can see 1 2 5 10 11 23 31 and 100 and everything stored here okay in this way your data has been you you can see your repro command repro has been worked successfully right so this is how a repro command works and its importance and not only this you can copy the data from vzam to ps file or uh, ps2 rrds uh, uh, lds and any other data set so that's how uh, that's how a repro command works i'll be coming up with more videos on a different uh, vzam com with vzam concepts thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please feel free to subscribe share or comment on my youtube channel have a great and pleasureful day.